draw cis 1, 4 dimethyl cyclohexane. Cis 1, 4 dimethyl cyclohexane. Okay, so let's say I tell you I want you to draw the most stable form of this. Well, if I drew it flat, which is not flat, but just to visualize it, cis 1, 4 would be this. Here's the one, two, three, and four position. And the most cis, you can either, I drew them as wedges coming out of the board, you could draw them both as dashes going into the board. So now, how do we draw this as a chair? We'll just draw a chair. And after you draw a ton of these, you'll be slightly less worse at drawing them. Now draw in all your kind of positions here, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then these, remember, uh, two away, you want to be parallel to those two lines, so here, and always going away from the center. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, you can randomly pick where the one position is. That doesn't matter when you're doing this part. So let's just randomly pick there. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay? So now, uh, I want to draw these cis. And remember, the ideal place is to put them uh, in the equatorial position. So let me put the one just in the equatorial position right now, and we'll see where the other one on the fourth position ends up. I need them to be cis. I know these two are currently trans. So if I move one finger here, these two would be cis. So I'm going to draw the other one. There's one four uh, dimethyl cyclohexane, where these are in the cis position. There's nothing I can do to avoid this being axial since they're cis. If they were trans, I could put them both right here, but I happen to get the cis version, and so that's the answer. Sometimes you can't avoid something being in the axial position. Now let's say you needed to ring flip this. So what you do is you draw something that kind of looks like the mirror image of it over here, and you put in all your bonds. There's all the axials. I always do the axials first, then the equatorials. Remember, uh, parallel to two away. So, and always going away from the center. Um, there, and there, and there. You get better at it the more you do it. It still takes a little bit of time. Now, if you ring flip, uh, let's renumber it. Where one is over here, it just flipped down. This the side of the chair just flipped down. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I renumber it. One here was equatorial. Now it's going to be axial. Once the ring flip happens, it flips the position from where it was. The fourth position was axial. At the ring flip, now it's going to become equatorial. These both are equally stable because they both have one in the axial position, one in the equatorial position. Let's try one more. Uh, let me erase this. Now I'm just going to change one number so you can see the difference. This is going to be cis-1,3 dimethyl cyclohexane. Here we go. If it was flat, which it's not, uh, and say this is the one position, cis would be one, two, three, here's a three position, it would look like this. What would that look like if we were drawing this in its chair conformation? Well, here we go, let's do our thing. Okay, and try your best to draw it, we don't always draw it the greatest. Now I'm gonna do the Axial, they're all those vertical lines. The equatorials are parallel to two away. And they're always pointed away from the center. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, let's just say this is the one position. It doesn't matter where you pick the one, it doesn't, whatever. Whatever you're feeling. So if the one is right here, uh, let's start putting something we always prefer to put something in equatorial if we can get it there. Now let's go in the, we want to put the second methyl group over here, and they have to be cis. So 
start with what you know. You know these two are cis. They're both pointed up, same direction. So that means these two are trans. That means these two are cis. So I, since I want them in the cis position, that one's going to go there. This one is in fantastic form right here. This is really stable because you got both substituents in the equatorial position. On the ring flip, let's see what happens. We do a ring flip. Again, it's looking like uh, we're drawing something that looks like the mirror image. Oh, this one's okay. It's a little skinny, a little lean. Let's try that again. Okay, it's a little nicer. Again, you gotta draw in all these. Here, I like to do the axials first. Equatorial, draw them parallel. And then uh, try to do them away from the center. There we go. Okay, uh, now this side had flipped down and this side had flipped up. So the one position is now right here. There's one. And we'll go around. Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Got all that set. What was in that one position equatorial has to go in the axial now. Upon ring flip it, it goes to the different position. Uh, and then the three position, it was an equatorial, now it's going to be an axial. This is another confirmation for the chair. The one on the right is much less stable. This is one that is much more stable. Um, so if we had to pick the most stable one, we'd definitely pick this one.